All right, here are perfect problem four solutions for Math 243. Um, this is going to take forever. So we're given a bunch of data, 16 data points, and I'm asked to create a normal probability plot. So there's three steps in doing that. The first step is you copy down all your data in ascending order. So my smallest point here is a four, and then I got a five, and then a six, and then two sevens. So four, five, six, seven, seven. Let's see, and then I got an eight here, a nine, and three tens, 10, 10, 10. All right, eight, nine, 10, 10, 10. Okay, and then 11, and then a 12, and then a 13. 11, 12, and 13. And then what do we got left? 15, 16, 17. 15, 16, 17. Yuck. Okay, got all that data. The next step is to create this column F sub I. And the way you figure out F sub I is we have a little formula. It is I minus point. 375 divided by n plus 0.25. So let's see, we know that n is equal to 16, the number of data points I have here. So my formula, when i equals 1, let's see, f sub 1 would be 1 minus 0.375 divided by 16 plus 0.25. And f sub 2 would be the same idea. My second f, I'm going to write the first one here, second one right below it, would be this thing. Don't worry, I'm not going to do all of these. And then I'll write dot, dot, dot. Because you can continue like that to figure out f 1, 2, all the way up to 16. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate these. I'll put this video on pause so you don't have to watch me calculate all these because that sounds pretty boring. All right, finally, I've calculated all these F sub I's, kind of using these formulas over here. It was a pain in the ass, so I kind of feel bad for making you do it. Um, but maybe you got kind of clever. I guess you could have done this with Excel or some sort of computer program to go a little bit quicker. But maybe you can see little patterns in here, or at the very least, you get good with your calculator. So now what I want to do is create my third and final category, which is Z sub I. And what Z sub I is, C sub i is the probability that maybe z is less than z sub i is equal to f sub i. So what I'm saying here is the thing, this is supposed to be an i, the number I'm going to put right here is the number so that 0 0.0385 is the area to the left of that number. Um, so you got to look up 16 things on your tables and write those numbers in here. Um, or you could use your calculator. That might go quicker. Um, that's what I'm going to do. So maybe I'll do this first one while you listen, and then I'll put this thing on pause. So I want to go into distributions, and then I want to go to inverse normal, and I want to type in 0 0.0385. And what it kicks out is negative 1.768. Let's see, I'll round to two decimal places. So negative 1.77. It's something like that. The good thing is I know that then, because of symmetry, this guy has to be 1.77. So that at least makes the work a little bit shorter. Um, but now I'm going to repeat. Now I'm going to figure that out for all the rest of these values. And while I do that, I'm going to put you on hold. Finally, I've calculated all of these z sub i values, which was not fun, but I got through it. Um, and now what I want to do is plot, um, make a scatter plot basically, using this as my x variable and this right here as my y variable. So, let's see here. These are my x's down here. And this is my y variable, which I'll label as z. And it looks like my z's go from negative 1.77 all the way to 
positive 1.77. So negative 1.8 maybe is right here. And let's say positive 1.8 is right here. And my x values go from 4 up to 17. So, okay, 4, um, maybe I'll go by 4s, 4, 8, 12, 16, so then there's 20, something like that. Um, now what I want to do is plot all these pairs of points. So my first pair is at 4, negative 1.77. So here's 4, there's negative 1.77, I put a dot. My next one is at 5, negative 1.28. So I have a scale over here on my z-axis. It'll be a little bit easier to plot my point. So I got the first one, and the second one is at 5, negative 1.28. So 5 is right here, negative 1.28. Here's negative 0.9, 1.0, 1.2. So we're talking right about in there. Um, okay, it's going to be a little bit annoying to do, but we can keep doing this. 6 and negative 0.99. 6 is right between here. Negative 0.99 is just slightly less than negative 0.9 here. So right around in there. Um, and I can continue putting all the dots in in that fashion. You probably don't want to watch me do that, so I'll put this on pause again. All right, I am finally done with that terrible task of plotting all these points. But all these red, each of these red dots correspond with one point where this is the x value and this is the y value. So I plotted these all down here, and then our task is to look at this and decide if this is pretty close to linear or not. Um, looks pretty linear to me. I mean, we've got a couple little curves in it up here and down here, but I would say that it's close enough to linear. Um, I might even write that. I would say normal, what do we call this? A normal probability plot, I think. Um, create a normal probability plot, normal probability plot is close enough to linear, um, so we conclude that, what was this talking about, the number of the number of times I laugh per day, okay? Include that the number of times I laugh per day is approximately normal. Oh. And that finally ends this terrible perfect problem. This one was a little bit tedious, sorry about that. Um, but I guess by the end you'll be a pretty much an expert with how to make these normal probability plots. And we can never speak of it again until maybe the final.